right, guys and girls, welcome back to Watch the Time. Thanks for tuning back in. Thanks for coming back to see me. I'm really, I'm really, really pleased actually to bring you this watch. This is a Gustav Becker. I know he sounds like a footballer or a tennis player, but it's a watch. Um, they, they, I think Gustav Becker are known to make clocks. I've seen a lot of that stuff about. I don't know an awful lot, but this is a, a military star watch that is made by Seaston slash Suggest. Um, I do rate, I do rate Seaston. I got off on a bit of a bad footing with them. I've since had a few watches in and I can see why people rate them so highly. They make exceptional watches. This was one that I wanted in for many, many months, to be honest. I finally pulled the trigger through during the sale. Um, I picked this up for around £70, which is about $85-ish. Um, and with coupons and stuff, I guess you can do that at other sales or other little bits and pieces. But this looks a banger. The only thing I will say, that, and one thing that has put me off a little bit, it's running a Seiko NH35 movement. It is a 24 joule movement. The problem with this one, on the dial, from the pictures and stuff, it says it's a 21 joule movement. Some people may not get their knickers in a twist over that sort of stuff, but little details to me matter, um, and it shouldn't be on the dial if it's not correct. So uh, that's, that's something that has been on my mind, but for the price, the finishing, it looks a lot like the sort of seagulls you get in AliExpress, and they, they, they sell for about two or three times the price of this watch. So if this offers anywhere near the value for money, I think it's something I can look past, but can I? Will it be worth the money? All those questions you have, hopefully by the end of the video we'll get there, we'll know if it's for you. If it is, please use the affiliate link in the description. If it isn't, then hopefully I'll feature something before or in the future. There we go. But as always say, thanks for tuning back in. I always support, I, always, I, I really appreciate all your support. It doesn't go uh, unmissed. I never expected my channel to ever become a thing. So your viewership and stuff has made me really motivated to continue moving forward so thank you so much i do appreciate it but that being said i will stop going on it's about that time to get the camera turn around and get on with it hi guys and girls so this is the watch um this is the usual sort of packaging um you kind of get sometimes with what well, varies i say usual you do get this sometimes with uh suggest and seaston um, C cores. I've never had one of their watches, but I see it's a brand that all connected. Outer sleeve. And then you got the cardboard box. Inside, you've got this instruction manual that you can take out. You've got a warranty card that's unsigned, uh, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is at the price point. Yeah, you've got an instruction manual. Um, you'll see that obviously this is Gustav Becker. It's not listed on there, uh, but you'll see there are some branding. Uh, Things that sort of show up as Seaston or it could be suggested as well where it's an S. But um, we'll go through that sort of stuff as we go through the review. But yeah, in a foam, keep it safe in transit. This was also what it came in, uh, a little bit of bubble wrap. So let's put that to the side. And then we can actually look at the watch itself. Yeah, Gustav Beckard. I couldn't find a warrant, uh, warranty, a model number, excuse me, for this. So I'm just going to call it a military watch or Gustav Becker military somewhere along those lines if I undo the crown I'll put it to sort of like uh, happy positions you can see everything as we go through and uh, you'll see you'll have seen it hack and stuff but we'll run through that as I say so I'm going to call this the Gustav Becker military watch uh, because it's obviously themed of a Chinese military sort of style watch um, and you'll see some accents as we go through inside it's running an automatic Seiko NH35 movement I'll bring some information up about that movement now uh, rugged reliable movement you'd have heard all the superlatives that you get chucked at this movement um, 24 joules 21,600 beats per hour uh, 41 hour power reserve um, there's a good reason these movements are used in these sort of watches um, well priced you can buy these movements and they just sort of keep going and going they're sort of proclaimed to last for sort of 10 years or so but um, you may get a bit more out of it than that. Um, and for such affordable price, I think, don't think you can knock it really. So there you go. So it's Seiko NH35 movement, also known as the 4R35, when, in, when not in a, when in a Seiko watch. So there you go. The construction of the watch, aside from the crystal at the front, um, and the strap is all 316L stainless steel. So it's brush case. You've got a thin, fasted edge going through the side of the case high polished on the side of the crown nice bit of knurling on the crown you'll see the rest of it is all brushed 
you've got some a plate or something on the side there so there you go some writing on there I can't make it out but um, yeah all brushed as is the case back but you've got a polished accent in the centre it's sort of carved out Gustav Becker with a tank uh, 50m just denoting the water resistance at the top but there we go that's the that's the, the case uh, pin buckle clasp you have got some signage on there again inconsistent branding as I've already mentioned that's a bit more consistent with the the watch itself but there we go the case thickness of the watch I measured it's it like as 11.8 millimeters the case diameter when you go sort of from 8 to the 2 it was coming at 42.1 millimeters and when you go from the 9 to the 3 including the crown it was coming at 47.1 millimeters the lug width on this is 24 and the lug to lug tip to tip was coming at 51 millimeters the bezel on this is fixed it's brushed as you'll be able to make out so there we go the crown is situated at the three o'clock position it's a push pull crown and signed with the s as i said already um there's probably a crown they would use on a seasted or suggest watch so there we go the case back is screwed down we already showed you just a moment ago so there we are yeah makes it quite easy to sort of take off if you want you've got the nodules there to unscrew it the strap it comes on is a canvas strap um not the easiest one to conform to wrist it has been a bit stiff uh, canvas on top lever underneath quite a few holes for it to fit as i say pin buckle clasp with signage on there also the crystal covering the dial is a sapphire crystal um, if it's got any ar coating on there it's very very minimal at this point but there we go that's that's what we're dealing with with that the water resistance i've already mentioned is 50 meters so that would give you five atmospheres of water resistance and the weight will appear in the top right it's just above 93 grams on this canvas strap which is still a bit of heft um, not a small watch but i'm um, giving this on a canvas strap a lot of that watch uh, weight is coming from the head of the watch so there you go but there's the watch guys but um let's have a look at the dial now guys in a bit more detail so it's quite a, it's a green dial let me just give it a quick wipe excuse me so sorry about that guys yeah so that's the dial uh, it's a matte black uh, matte green dial um yeah, military watches tend to be the sort of sort of green sort of color you've got a minute track going around the outer edge inside that you've got applied buttons they're done really well to be honest one through to 12 um quite substantial uh, the hands are sort of the same sort of color as that you've got a red accent on the second hand um yeah, you've got gustav becker you've got a sort of applied star it looks like and below that you've got gustav becker printed on to the dial just above the baton at the six you've got 21 joules water resistance 50m sapphire quite a lot of writing down there not all of it is accurate um as you'll probably be able to work out given i mentioned already it's a 24 joule movement or 21 joules so yeah a bit inconsistent there so not, not ideal um, just quite a lot of writing just generally um, you've got a star at the end the other end of the counterbalance of the second hand as i said you've got a red sort of arrow almost at the end you've got sword style hands slightly thicker for the hour obviously thinner for the minute um it is all loom filled guys i'll bring that up now just so you can take a look the loom on this was immense to be honest very very good i'd even I'll go as far as saying it was sensational for the price so yeah the loom on this was very very good a nice pleasant surprise to be perfectly honest you got the date window just inside the three o'clock button um would have been nice to maybe see it not so stark white with the black writing but there we go uh it's a hacking movement as i've said nh34 movement nh35 excuse me inside you take the crown out it will hack you put it back in it will start back up again you turn the crown away from you you can charge it up you take it out to the very first position so that's the first position and then you scroll towards you and you can change the date as i just showed you there so there you go so that's the dial guys that's the hands that's the movement that's everything going on there let me just pop it on the wrist quickly give you an idea what it looks like on my wrist okay so guys and girls this is what it looks like on my wrist uh, as i said it's not a small watch 
maybe a little bit oversized, but I think it looks very, very nice. Very, very clean looking design. And yeah, there we go. That's what it looks like on my wrist. So guys and girls, that will now take me on to what I think is pants and pucker about the watch. If you've ever watched before, you know I always start with pants. I like to kind of high with pucker. So what I think is pants is there's four things I really want to mention. So I'm going to go with the writing on the dial. Uh, as I already stated, it says 21 joules, but inside it's got a Seiko NH35 movement, which is a 24 joule movement. So that's kind of a little bit unforgivable. The canvas strap being so tough. This is me after wearing it uh, sort of like a couple of weeks. Yeah, hasn't worn in a great deal. It was actually starting to make my wrist a little bit sore, if I'm honest. So yeah, do be prepared maybe to change out the strap, but it is very inexpensive. So there we go. The lug width on this is 24 mil. I think given the proportions of the watch, 22 mil would have been bang on. And if you're anything like me, you'll have a lot more 20, 22 mil uh, straps as opposed to 24 because I don't really tend to stock them. And the inconsistent branding in terms of uh, Gustav Becker, a uh, very inoffensive name. I'm not saying it's a very original name. They are known for making other things. But yeah, the GB on there, which is in keeping with the brand, but then S on the crown, which is not is a brand that's sort of connected, but it doesn't need to be on there, does it? You wouldn't have a Seiko, Seiko watch with a Loris crown, would you? So yeah, just not really understanding inconsistent branding. So they're the four things I mentioned, the writing on the dial, canvas strap, lug width, and inconsistent branding. What I think is Pucker, still quite a bit more, because for the, on it, the, for the modest price, I think this punch is well above its weight. So the things I mentioned is a sapphire crystal. Yeah, lovely to have a bit of sapphire crystal at a price point. The hands and indices, I like the proportions. I like the fact that the, the color of them, um, yeah, nice. And along with the indices as well, cannot not mention the indices. The hands and indices are good. The indices are fantastic, the way they're sort of applied the way they are. The loom, I think the loom really is one of the stars, really. A big, big surprise to me that the loom was quite as good as it was. The date location, some people may may not like it. I like the fact they've not had to sort of cut out the free for it to fit. They put it inside of the free, uh, which I think looks extremely cool. The case back, uh, I am a bit of a sucker for a case back that's got a bit of detailing. So you had to mention the case back. The general look of the watch, as I say, it's very sort of a Chinese military sort of style of watch, well executed for the price. And yeah, the price, I think it goes about saying all things are relative to what the price is. And I think this is priced really well. If you can pick this up, running around £80, I think you're winning, to be honest. So there we go. Yeah, the things I mentioned, the Sapphire Crystal, Hands and Indices, Loom, Date Location, Case Back, General Look, and Price of the Watch. And guys and girls, would I recommend this watch? Uh, I would have to say I would. Um, I think it's a really, really nice watch. Uh, not perfect, but if you can sort of see past the few, few things I've mentioned, um, it offers a lot of watch for the price, and you're going to struggle to get sort of this style of watch with this much specs looking like it does for the price in my opinion but guys and girls more importantly please let me know what you think about this watch and maybe any other watches you may want to see on the channel and as always say don't forget to like subscribe and always watch the time take care guys all the very best